Hello everyone, welcome to Val Fashion's YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning how to make this beautiful spiral attached to this sleeve. So without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. You can see how beautiful it is. So let's get right into it. To begin this project, I've placed my fabric on fold already. I've placed my fabric. The What I'm using, I'm going to be using this bridal satin. And then under you can see my Ankara because this spiral is going to have two faces. One is going to be the bridal satin and then the other side will be the Ankara. So I placed them together and I pinned it to the table. So right now, the amount I've placed here, my box, I've marked out my box of 36 inches. You can see my 36 inches and you can see 36 inches this way. So all I need to do is to get the midpoint of my 36 inches. So I'll get the midpoint, which is here, 18. And then I'll also get the midpoint from this side, which is 18 also. So on this part, this is where my midpoint is. So I'm going to mark one inch on this side. You see, I've created something like a, a cross here. So I'm going to mark one inch on this side, one inch on this side, one inch on this side also. And then one inch on this side. So I will draw out this circle. I'll connect them to form a small circle. So now that I have this, okay, so I'll just pick one of the circles and just create like a curve, like an arc, like so. So now that I've done this, I'll come to the next circle after it. You see, I picked it from here. I'll come to the next circle after it. And I'll begin to mark my spiral. The spiral I'm using, I'm using a spiral of 4.5 inches. So I'll mark my 4.5 inches. So you see, I'm marking my 4.5 inches from here. I'm taking it round. Round 4.5 this way. 4.5. So you can see now that I've got into, I marked here. At 4.5 but now that i've gotten to this i'm following this curve that i form 4.5 inches 4.5 inches so now I'll do well to connect this one to this that's this curve now i'm connecting it to this part so this is what i have already so i'll go ahead and continue marking my 4.5 here's my 4.5 my 4.5 I'll do that all the way to the end of my fabric, at the end of my 36. Spiral has stopped, so I can't keep getting the 4.5 round. Because you can see here, I can't have 4.5 anymore. So this is what I'm going to do. I'll go ahead and cut it out now so i'll be cutting out i'll be starting from here so what i'll do is this i'll shift it a little let me just go in from here so now that i've gone in from here so i'll go ahead and start cutting i'm cutting both my and color fabric which is under and the satin that is on top So this is where I will confirm. Now I will follow this circle where I created the arc. Okay. 
this is to cut out this small the circle so now I'll come here and confirm where my 4e 4.5 inches started and see it started from here exactly because by the time I shift this way I'm having less than that so this is where my actual 4.5 inches is so I'll cut out this part you mustn't let's say now you want to have that you want to place it on the dress you don't want everywhere to be even you can just use this part this part will be your beginning point but for me it's exactly that 4.5 i want i don't want this part that is why i'll be cutting out this part so this is my actual length of 4.5 so this is what i have here so I have to add gum stay to this. I'm going to be using the hard one. This is to help it stand well. I'm attaching this uh, uh, flounce to a sleeve. So this is to help you really stand on the sleeve. So you can see what I have. This is what I have. So I just go ahead and apply my gum stay and then I'll show us. I'll be attaching, adding the gum stay. I'll be ironing the gum stay to the anchor fabric. I won't be ironing it to the satin. So let me iron it to the satin and then I'll show us how to attach it to our basic sleeve. I added my gum stay to it. I see how it's hard. So what I just did was that I marked my 1.5 inch. You can see this mark here. I left 1.5 inch seam allowance. And I also left it on the other side. I also left it on the other side. So I now started pinning my flounce. That's my spiral from here. You see, I pinned it, I took it round to this point, and then also, so that's what I did. So now I'll go ahead and sew. By the time I sew, I'll show us what it looks like. So this is me trying to sew it, I'm starting from here, taking off my pin. So you can see how beautiful my sleeve is. I've attached my spiral, the spiral flounce. So I started from here. You see how I sewed. I took it round, round and round and round all the way to the end. You can see how beautiful it's looking. So remember I said I left my sewing allowance of 1.5 here and then 1.5 here. So when I want to sew this, I'll have to fold it like so, shift it really well, mm -hmm. and then I'll sew on my 1.5. That's I'll close up my sleeve on my 1.5. And see that you, of course, you can already imagine what it will look like. So what is helping this flounce stand well or the spiral stand well is the gum stay, the hard gum stay that I added to the fabric. So I'm going to show us what the dress looks like on the mannequin when I fix the sleeve to the dress thank you if this tutorial was helpful please like share comment and subscribe to my channel see you in my next one bye